what's going on, my people? Um, I got this idea from my cousin, Harry. He asked me to write about weed and alcohol. So basically, I put I put kind of my worst experiences with it, you know, with, with the alcohol, with the weed. I started off with the good experiences and where I seen the change, you know, the bad. But, um, you know, again, everybody have different experiences, but this is what I experienced. And uh, let me share that with y'all real quick. So let's talk about alcohol. Now, this is an area where I took a fall. Those early 20s, those memories, I see it, I hear it. Those stores said wine and spirit. What a strange name for drinks, don't you think? Have you ever seen the devil look at you and wink? Have you ever seen a drunk cuss somebody out and not even blink? Have you ever looked into the eyes of a loved one and didn't recognize who stared back? Did you see the evil in their eyes ready to attack? Has alcohol ever made you like someone you wouldn't like sober? Have you ever woke up disgusted with your decisions and a hangover? Have you ever told a vehicle from drinking? Did your fam stare at you in disbelief asking what were you thinking? These are the not so nice faces of drinking. Now let's talk about marijuana slash THC. It was a time you couldn't tell me weed wasn't a friend to me. I ain't break nothing or cause no trouble when I was high. Listen to music, play games, head so light I could fly. And if I could bring world peace, I would try. Eating a bunch of food, this was the good side to being high. But sometimes I couldn't buy none. And it seemed like I couldn't be happy about nothing or have no fun. On a sunny day, I couldn't see no sun. Ain't none of my friends got no trees. So what is a nice day? I can't feel no breeze. Hey, let me hold a nick till the next day. I was pissed off if I couldn't have it my way. And y'all don't understand, I spent my last on weed. Neglecting responsibilities like that was the only thing I need. Neglecting special people in important places cause I was too high to attend. I'm gonna keep it real. I experienced the downside, I can't pretend. This is my poem about weed and alcohol. Make wise choices, y'all, try not to fall. Now for everybody, you know, some of y'all, you know, able to manage that, you know, some of y'all able to got enough money, you know, where you able to sit it aside and do it how you want it. But for me and at the age I was, you know, this is the stuff that I went through, you know, when I was smoking, you know, and stuff like that. And um, I think God was just ready to pull me out because I could see where, you know, some people like, oh, well, you know, it's a way to do this. So it's a way to do that. But if he make you stop something, you know, that's it. Basically, he made me quit. You know, and as far as the drinks is concerned, it's a lot of debate about that. Um, I believe God don't want us getting drunk. You know, it does say be sober, be vigilant, you know, and I do have an occasion or something. But. The, the young man I was speaking about in this part was in his 20s and had no control over his drink. He had no control, you know, over what he was doing or his limits. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt, but this is uh, my poem about alcohol and weed. Like, share, and support.